morning, good morning. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you, um, pour with some gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Oh, goodness me. It was bad enough having the dogs barking in the background, but once the puppies hear my voice, they go off um, crying for me. It's a little bit chilly here, so this afternoon. Here we are on this afternoon, it's after 12 o'clock. I think I'm gonna have to shut the door to keep the pups quiet. <laughs> try, <laughs> try and see if that's any better. I'm gonna use these, okay. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing people and the beautiful comments that you're leaving me and support that you always give me. I just want you to know that it's truly appreciated and I thank each and every one. I am using my gorgeous Montmartre Signature Acrylics. They were called Studio Acrylics. They're now called Signature Acrylics and I've mixed them with the clear PVA. These are available in the US, UK and everywhere via Amazon. I'm just hoping those puppies will quieten down. If, if it bothers you then please um, mute. Put us on mute. Put us on mute. So I'm going to, I think I've wrote the colours. Yeah, this one's aqua. So I just put the paint in the cup that I believed I wanted to use and just added the pouring medium until I um, got the consistency that I want today for this particular pour. I added a few drops of my Helmar silicon. I mean, how do you get puppies to stop crying? You can't, they've been fed, they just want attention. They're a bit like my boys. Anyway, we all push forward so I believe now I'm going to do a um, I'm going to try and do a split colors on um, this canvas so I'll just do different colors at the bottom than I do at the top so we'll try a split pour so that one's the aqua they're just gorgeous colors really really lovely this one is the viridian which is one of my favorites kind of like a ooh, teal green it's beautiful so it's putting a bit of sort of hoping that it will come out like a summer garden where um kind of in uh, winter sort of coming into springtime in Australia at the moment so I'm looking forward to um, when spring is sprung this one is the turquoise so I'm pouring it in with those greeny bluey colors <laughs> that puppy's not gonna give up it's gonna be heard the puppies are just coming up six weeks. Every single one has a gorgeous home to go to. Very excited for them. They have lovely families to go to. And I'm absolutely sure they're going to have a good lives. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on there with this little fella that's carrying on. So that was the brilliant white. This is the orange that I've put a dash of yellow in with it. It just brightens up the orange even further because I love my bright colors and anybody that follows me will know that I just love the bright colors. And looking at those now, it kind of really looks as though it needs a bit of orange in there to really make that side pop i'm gonna go with the bright yellow so it's orange and lemons here don't know whether to keep this one pretty simple this side i don't know i don't do simple very well do i anybody that knows no 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 you don't so you have to do a lot of the time what's true to your heart what you feel um you enjoy doing what you love doing 
So this is the cerulean blue. I'm just going to add it in on this side. It is interesting doing split colours to just see what you come up with. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Just want to add a little bit of white in this side too. I started with a thought of doing the canvas with mostly white and very little colour in it and then swiping because I haven't done one of those for a long time and they are really come out really lovely so maybe um, next one I do today might be that one so I'm just giving this a real just a gentle tilt just it's just making sure your whole of your canvas is covered now look at those colors absolutely bright vibrant uplifting that's what we all need something uplifting for sure uh, certainly got some nice colors in this range of the signature acrylics and there are also just leave so many opportunities to custom make colors out of uh, these colors by adding different ones to it um, that's probably for another video day when I'm going to have to do that, some custom colours. I have got a few videos where I do do a few custom colours. So, just walk this back down. Sort of just nice and gentle side to side. It's just self-leveling the paint. So, you're kind of keeping the same amount of paint in one area. Kind of looks like a... A beachy scene meet, meets the I don't know what that could be wild imaginations out there it's funny how you just see so much in each different painting you can just see so many characters or objects it's yeah pretty amazing amazing art form I find Okay, let's take this back a bit further. I want a bit more of my orange and lemonies. Really wanted a real deep red to swipe with, but I forgot all about making it up. I had it in mind and then I forgot to make it up. So I'm going to use what I've got. We'll get to that in a second. Oh, I've got a cloth ready this time. So that, that looks pretty vibrant. If you haven't tried one of these pours where you do this kind of technique, please do so because it's a lot of fun. You get a different look every time. It's interesting. Interesting, I find. So the colour that I'll swipe with is navy. Like I said, I was aiming to do a bright red swipe, but I haven't mixed my paint. I'm not going to do that right now. So it will be the navy swipe. I just want to try very thin, walking the thin line, seeing what I come up with because I don't want the navy to overtake my whole colours. So let's see how I do with this one. Just soft plastic file divider used many times can be washed and washed and washed underwater. Oh, look, I did the thin line and yet look how... <laughs> It takes over everything. Where's his trousers? I just love doing these particular pores. They're what I'm more confident in doing. They're what I enjoy because of the bright colours and the just the characters and different looks you can get out of these kind of swipes. Whoop. I'm going to turn it all the way around. Oh, that colour is beautiful though. It's beautiful. Oops, 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 oops. Got you right out of the frame there. I'll just bring it all back in. I think we're about right. Yeah, the puppies must need some mommy attention. I'll have to, after I've done this pour, I'll go and spend some time with them. But they've had lots of my time. They're just getting to that stage now that they just want to be with you all the time. 
And with nine puppies, that's pretty hard going. Okay, oh wow. Kind of reminds me of an aquarium. I don't know why, but probably just the navy. But you see that was such a thin line of paint, but how it has absolutely taken over the whole thing. But we'll get it back. It'll pop up when I add some heat to the whole thing. So, wow. Oh, I can just see. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right. Heat wand. So this is just a, what they call a heat embossing wand. You can get them on eBay if you're in any other country but Australia. But if you're in Australia, I have a link below for Capriol Shabby Chic. I think they have two or three different ones on there. So you can choose which one. They all work. So let's do this. First in the bubbles, slowly heating your paint. Oh my goodness. Such beautiful cells with this particular pouring medium. Mix. Look at this. Wow. Naughty puppies. I think I will be calling this my barrier reef. My barrier reef pour, because it reminds me. I'll wait till I turn the duvalaki off. Oh, oh my goodness, they are. Oh, that, that paint mixture is just perfect because these are the most glorious cells. The colours just remind me of the Great Barrier Reef. Yes, I've been up to the Barrier Reef a few times and I've snorkelled on the reef. Um, and the colours underneath are just like these, trust me, they're just gorgeous. This is beautiful. Really, really lovely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for half an hour. I may decide to leave it exactly as it is or I may which I really want to come back and do some balloon rolling, sliding and kissing. All sounds good, but it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Love it, love it, love it. Colours, I'll give you a close up, show you what the colours. It's just nice having that separation of the two sides. Really, really beautiful cells absolutely perfectly formed cells within cells excellent mix if you want to guarantee your gorgeous cells and a gorgeous results if that's what you would like please go with the pouring medium and the paints that i've got in the description box underneath this video it will tell you how to mix them and the amount of silicon to add and you can't go wrong really can't Okie dokie, I'm back. Um, I've only left this about 15 to 20 minutes. It may very well still be too, um, too much paint on there or not absorb the paint, not absorbed as much as uh, would work better if I left it longer. But I'm just going to try it. But before I do try and do my balloon magic on it, I'm going to just show you how what I put in my paint. So I've added my um, oh, okay. I've added my Montmartre Studio acrylic, brilliant red. I've just put so this is just a small coffee cup. I'm not sure. So I've just put the paint up to the first ring there. So that's just paint in there. Then what I do is I make up my glue when i buy these i tip so much out of the glue into another bottle so i leave about i'm that's what i'm saying it's approximately 70 percent glue 
and then I add approximately 30% warm water. I add warm water to the glue and then that is a bit of shake space. And then I do the shake, shake, shake. So you mix in the warm water and the glue completely up and I, I buy have these by the box full so I make up several containers. When you finish with your container, um, you can use it to make more glue up, but also you can fill it with paint and have it as a really good um, nozzle for squirting paint out for different techniques. So that's my glue made up. And then I, for doing the whole cup like I'm doing, I'll take the lid off and I will just add it. I will add at least 50% so it's 50% paint and 50% um, pouring medium because that's a homemade pouring medium. It is probably better if you're not used to doing this to add it slowly so as you don't add too much glue. You can always add more paint to the glue, that's not a problem. And it's just really giving it a real good stir. Stir it and stir it and stir it. When you've got it to a consistency, which this seems pretty much right, it's just leaving a little trace. This particular consistency is excellent for the swipe that I've just done. And this is exactly how I've made this paint up. No secrets, no ticks, tricks, or, or anything unseen. It's exactly how I've made this paint up. But I always like to make my paint at least 24 hours I make all the paint up at least 24 hours before I um, pour so that's just a little tip and then the only thing I'm going to show you is the Helmar silicon is one two three drops I put in and give it a real good stir okay so if you have these particular products and you can buy them worldwide you definitely can get them on Amazon and you if you're in Australia Capriol Shabby Chic are there and you mix your paint as I've mixed mine as I've just shown you um, this particular consistency perfect for a swipe and even probably a little bit thicker if I was doing a um, flip cut pour but very very thin if you were doing a dutch pour so this is what gives you what i call when you're looking for cells the perfect the perfect cell because it, it really is you can't really you know people that want cells that say i'm not getting any cells it, it's not all about the cells but people that are striving to get them that is the most easiest way and doing a swipe in the way that I've just done it, if you're a beginner, is going to give you beautiful cells. Look at it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I've mixed that red up. What I'm going to do while I've got you here is I'm going to... Oh, well, I'm not using this red today, but I just wanted to show you. And I put the Helmar silicon in. This is less than $7 and it lasts for absolute donkey's ears. So... You can get that everywhere too on Amazon and from Capriol. So I just wanted to give you, show you that because I noticed, you know, so many people saying, I'm doing everything you're doing and I'm not getting any cells. So if you, you're using those products in exactly the same way, there is no way you would not be getting cells because that uh, recipe that I developed out of this particular it just works perfect it's just beautiful okay and um, I'm gonna try and balloon it now I know some people say oh you're crazy it was lovely as it is but my art room my rule so if you don't want to see the ballooning just hop off now thank you for joining me and I really do appreciate so balloon it's a softy one I'm grabbing the belly button press it in and I'm sliding so I'm sliding this one so I'm doing some kind of big angel wings in my um, barrier reef pour so I just wanted to put something through the center demar 
sort of marking out which is which I suppose perfect way now I really would like to go through this again but you know to me that does look like the wave um, but it's given me another idea now to try the wave with a balloon instead of how people are doing like a wave technique with the hairdryer I'm going to leave it at that and you know I don't want to add anything more to that I like it exactly as it is so thank you so much for joining me wait till the end to the photos and I'll show you the uh, dried piece um, always if you hop on to Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube, my Facebook page, I usually have the dry pieces there and put lots of um, arts and link links on there. We also have our, an Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. If you'd like to join our Australian Acrylic Pouring Group, all the links are below in the description box and you're quite welcome to show off your own work. So this is my Great Barrier Reef pour with my wave in it. I'm waving you guys. Um, wish you were all here with me in Australia having a cuppa and a laugh. I think we'd have a great time. So until next time, bye for now.